Well, today I'm thinking about Sarah Lowe. You know, she's that young volunteer nurse we met in Freeman Colby Volume 2. She's in charge of an entire ward at Armory Square Hospital as all these sick and wounded soldiers are coming in from the front. So if you get out your paper and pencil, we're going to try drawing her as a stick figure cartoon. I'm holding the paper wide, and like always, I'm going to start by roughing out a frame for my picture. And then I get out an actual photograph of Sarah Lowe. Yeah, we know what she looked like. This picture comes from the New Hampshire Historical Society. And I'm just going to take a look here. I want to notice her head. And she has this nursing cap on her head also. And then her shirt will do as sort of a baggy round shape. And then her dress, this enormous dress that the nurses wear, uh, is sort of a triangle shape. And we'll figure out her arms when we get to them. Okay, so we'll put the picture aside and we'll get started with the circle for the head. And we're going to do a baggy shirt, so that's a circle too. And then this sort of triangle shape. I'm going to curve the triangle down a little to make it look a little more dress-like. And we'll add the apron on there. Oh, let's not forget the cap around her hair there. Of course, as a stick figure cartoon, this is really different from the photograph, isn't it? I mean, I'm just using dots and lines for her eyes and mouth, but hopefully it gives a sense of her character. Now, those arms. Let's see, we'll give her a piece of paper, and this arm holds that side. And the other arm, well, I, ooh, hmm. if it comes over the paper like that, that looks kind of crazy. Nobody holds paper like that. So the picture isn't going to help us here. But what if we leave her hand on the paper and we bring her arm under? Yeah. See, the stick figure picture often has different rules to it than the actual photograph itself. Let's put some papers on the table. I see she's arranged some bottles of medicine here. She must have just stopped her nursing work to check in with her letter writing projects. I notice her collar the buttons down the front. I notice she's wearing a crucifix, so we'll add that to the buttons here. And we'll add some folds to her dress to bring out the fabric. Now at a certain point, I can put that photograph away and let this picture kind of breathe and have its own life. For instance, I see in this space, I kind of want to put a, a window there, a little bit of setting details. And another thing Sarah Lowe mentions in her letters is the hospital cats. She seems kind of fond of these cats, so every chance I get, I draw a cat into the picture with her in the hospital ward. And if I consult the picture again, I might notice that chair behind her, and I add it in. No, and I take it out. It looks like something stuck in her backbone there. So we don't need the chair. Maybe a poster, a calendar. I'll put the year on there. And that reminds me, we can put sort of a title up here, Nurse Sarah Lowe. Armory Square Hospital, Washington, D.C., and right below that is the calendar, so you know the time and place of this picture, too. Okay, so let's see. We made sure we included faces. We made sure we have some actions. She's doing something here. We have some setting details, and we have some text. That means we have F-A-S-T, the F-A-S-T tools, and we are ready to ink. Well, I find if I work faces, action, setting, and text into the same picture, then the picture sort of has a life of its own. It has a story of its own because of the chemistry of all those, those tools, those elements. Let's see, maybe some dotted lines for the dress here. This ink really brings the picture out, makes it pop off the page and catches your eye. You know, as I'm doing this window, I'm thinking, what's outside this window? I'm going to go back to pencil. Maybe I'll put a flag waving in the breeze, because it's wartime. That reminds us. Other hospital wards there in the distance. Once I know what they look like, I'll come back in with the ink. I always go back to pencil if I'm making a major change like that, though. Because you never know if it's really what you want. We'll put some birds in there. We'll do our calendar. I'll get my marker out for that big name. Now this inking is really sped up, of course. You're, you're going to want to ink much more carefully than this. You know, I'm kind of tempted to put a mouse in the corner there to kind of balance the cat. A little writing on the letter and we'll erase all our pencil lines. And I think Nurse Sarah Lowe 
is ready to go alongside her picture. Special thanks to the New Hampshire Historical Society for publishing all these great photographs of Sarah Lowe and her contemporaries. Good luck with your own cartoon versions of them, and we'll see you next time to draw another character from the Civil War Diaries of Freeman Colby.